I'll always remember um, growing up when my father was an administrator at uh, the local hospital, him coming and talking about, you know, these pe parishioners, uh, not parishioners, uh, employees, sorry, <laughs> get my, <laughs> everything's parish for me, uh, the, the employees would be stealing pens or paper clips or whatever and bringing them home and using them. And he, he made the comment, they're, tr they're not trustworthy in small matters, why would I entrust them with greater matters? And he got that, of course, from Jesus in the scriptures. And that's what we're called to is that we look and we say, oh, well, th this is nothing, but give, give me a big challenge, then I'll get up to it. And the Lord is saying, no, if you're not trustworthy in the small things, how will you ever be trustworthy in the great things? And so it's in the small that we are tested. And this is, this is kind of the, the call of our Lord. Remember that he comes into our humanity. He becomes, he himself becomes the smallest of the small. To show us that it's not that the small need to be thrown away, but rather it's in the smallest of the small that we find holiness, that we find get, we get close to Almighty God. That's in the, the daily routines of our lives. I was sharing this story with someone the other day. Um, I don't remember where I read it, but there was, there was a cardinal who was really struggling with some sort of trial in his life or whatever, and he was just going through some re a period of really deep darkness. And in his prayer one day, he just saw this image of this nun praying for him and it lifted him up and th this, this, uh, the prayer of this nun really brought him and drew him out of this darkness. Well, um, several months later, he was visiting a particular convent. He says, oh, this is, they have the same habit as that, that nun in my, um, in my image, in, in the vision I had. And then he saw this sister. And so he asked Mother Superior if he could have a moment to talk with this sister. And he said to her, tell me, sister, do you ever pray for cardinals? And she hung her head in shame. She says, well, the only time I ever pray for cardinals is as I'm doing the washing and hanging up the laundry. It's at that point that I said, I do this for the cardinals. And she was ashamed at the small, tiny prayer that she prayed for the cardinals. But he just said to her, keep doing that. It, but it's in, in the small, the tiny things that we offer to Almighty God, that we're faithful to Almighty God, that, that, that God does great things through those tiny, small things. We think that, you know, if the Lord appeared to us and said, I want you to go and start a new religious order, or I want you to go and protest against this, or I want you to go and do these miracles, that we would suddenly do them. But no, it's in the small obediences. It's in the day-to-day -day obediences that we train our hearts and train our ears to listen to God speaking to us. Too often we think that it's in the great and large things. Do you honestly think, do you honestly think that the first time that Mary obeyed God was when the angel Gabriel appeared to her? No, she had been training herself throughout her life to obey God in all the small ways so that when the big thing came, she was ready to do what God asked of her. Will you give God a human nature? Let it be done to me according to thy word. Because that Marian posture of being open had been something that she'd been doing her whole life. And so God is inviting us today into those small things to be faithful. And it is hard because it's, it's so easy to just say, well, that's not important. I'm going to do my own thing. But that's where the rubber meets the road. That's where uh, our, our, met, our metal is really tested. If I can use a bunch of different metaphors and you can jump from one to the other. This is where we find and grow in holiness. It's in those little things, as St. Teresa would say, done with great love. 